Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to continue building up the HR database that I've been looking at over the last four videos. This is part five. What I want to do in this little video is create a holiday table and then attach it to the rest of the database. So at the top there, I've got table one, which I'm just going to delete. Don't want that one. I'll redo that from scratch. Now, just to remind you what we've got, we've got staff, table of staff and courses and a table for absenteeism for close those three and created a form, staff records, which basically showed you that information. I want to add a third sub form here that will allow me to do holidays. But I need to create the table first and link it into the rest of the database. The database relationships are sitting there. So this table will just hang off here, that being the central table. So let's create one, create table in design. So the fields I want is, this is going to be holiday ID, that'll be the primary key. It's going to be... Uh, an auto number field, so just press A to do that. Then I want allocated, that's going to be a number as well because that's going to be the number of days allocated. And then start date, it's going to be date time, spell it right, start date, date time. And I'll format that in a minute, end date, date time. And then duration, duration needs to be a calculation. So if I just type CA there and press enter on that, it'll open up the expression builder. So what I need to have is going to be, um, the duration is going to be the end date minus the start date. So when you refer to fields, you need to put them in square brackets, end date minus in square brackets, start date it's not case sensitive so you didn't i didn't have to do that but click ok to that and then that sits down at the bottom there so that's duration after duration i want remaining remaining days and that's going to be a calculated field as well so if we press enter on that one not currently calculated ca so this one is going to be, so remaining is going to be allocated minus duration, but again in square brackets. Like that, allocated minus duration, okay. And I need a field in here to link it to the staff table. So staff ID, which is a number field. And I should really put a look up in there, which I will do. Let's put a look up in there so I can see who the staff members are. Combo combo box. It's a table. Staff details. And first column's bound. I'll show four columns. And the list width. It's on auto. I'll put that on 10. And column widths two centimeters save the table as tbl holidays holidays and okay I haven't got a primary key forgot to do that for holiday id that's going to be the primary key there's a little key symbol so that looks okay let's have a look at it save okay so i haven't done the input masks which i need to do all date fields so the start date down the bottom there input mask second line down I want that to be short date short date so it's like that finish end date same thing input mask short date save table short date check it's there finish save have a look 
Okay, so that's the prime. That's the uh, primary key. So let's say you get ten days allocated. And I should have staff D, staff ID at the other end. Actually, let's just go back into design. Move that up. If you don't move it up in design, it'll um, queries us, and so such will not look at that order. So keep that order. Save. Have a look. So staff ID. I can select somebody now. Select myself, I'm allocated 10 days, press tab, start date today, press tab, end date, um, let's go the 5th, 12th, 20, 23, when I press tab that should do the duration, it does, and the remaining is telling me I've got 8 left, great, so that is working, if I tab down and do some, somebody else, staff ID, Number two, so they've not got any, they can be allocated 20 days. Going today, um, but they're coming back on the 21st of the 12th, 2023 tab. So they've got, that's 18 days, so they've got two days remaining. So, okay, that's good. So now what I want to do is just link this up to the rest of the database through here, relationships. Just bring that on there, holidays, TBL holiday. So it's going to be staff ID to staff ID. Staff ID to staff ID. Make sure you tick that. One to many, I'm checking. Create, create that link. Sit it in so it's nice and tidy. Make sure you can see all the fields. So that's happy with that. Save. Now what I should be able to do if I close this is go to my form. In design, I'll go to design on that, and then I want to draw or do another sub form. So that's these controls at the top there. Across the, all of these, you've got sub form, sub report. No point trying to make it match at the moment because you have to go and change it. So I need to select that table, holidays, and I want all the fields across. Just follow it through, it should pick up the link. It has yeah I'm gonna leave that there I don't like these I could change them later on but oh let me just finish that at the moment okay so let's get rid of the field list don't want that there this is definitely gonna to have to be made wider let's make it wider like that and let's have a look okay that's all right actually move it across a little bit I suppose and then just save this form so if I just pick that up come down a little bit and then save this form it's already been named so now if I go and have another look at it I can actually input data from here and if I go into the next record you can see that that's filled in so I can't actually see the duration field there so I just need to bring that in and bring that one in so I can see it staff ID is taking a massive amount of space you can actually delete staff ID out of there, like I have done on, the, on those ones. Okay, that's good. So just going to design on this. Just get rid of staff ID from there. Don't need it. Save that. It's already got the link. And it just tidies that up a little bit because you can see the staff ID at the top. Okay, so that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.